Whole roasted duck. I'm here at one of the Healthy Butcher's most amazing customers, Holmes. Thank you for having us here, first Very of all. Well. Paul Lanzarini, uh, and a good friend of mine. And we're here to do delicious whole roasted duck. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. To me, I didn't grow up having whole roasted duck in my family. I know it's a traditional meal in many parts of the world, uh, especially for Christmas and very special events. I didn't grow up having that. When I learned to cook, to me it was you take the legs off, you confit them or you braise them, you get the breasts, treat them like a steak, medium rare, slice thin across the grain, and you have an amazing meal. Delicious. But when I came over to your house a few months ago, you cooked this whole roasted duck and it was absolutely delicious. The, the breasts were moist, the legs had fallen apart, and the skin was nice and crispy. And I said, what did you add in this duck? What would you answer? Just salt. And I said, no way. So here we are. And a little love. And a little love. So this is the point. We're going to show you uh, how Paul adds his love to this whole roasted duck. Sounds good? Great. All right. So first thing that you have to know is that you have to start out with a really good quality duck. So I get mine from the Healthy Butcher. They're absolutely amazing. There's not a lot of fat on them. Everybody always complains about how fatty duck is, but it's just not true. Just as easy to cook as a roast chicken. And let me, let's just get to it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is score the bird, which means basically just thinly carving in like this, some lines, just to let the fat escape. Now we flip the bird around and do the back as well. Helps to have a really sharp knife for this. Next thing I'm going to do, which is a little trick, is just cut down a little bit there on the leg, just to the bone. This will allow the heat to get in quicker and you won't overcook your breast. So are you serving this uh, duck at the table whole? I or am. Or are, you gonna, or are you gonna slice it beforehand? No, we'll serve it whole. Yeah? Yes. And so those, those slits are no problem? Nope, you can see where they are. Now all we do is take some salt you need a fair bit of salt, it'll help draw the moisture out. Rub it all in. This will give you a nice crispy skin. You can add a rub if you'd like a rub, but when you have good meat like this, all you need is salt. Get it all rubbed in there, a little extra. So if you were to add a seasoning, what would you add? You could do uh, any kind of rub that you really desire. You could do a barbecue mix, you could do a Chinese five spice mix, uh, you could rub it with soy sauce if you'd like, a little bit of sugar, but I would leave that till the end because that'll burn if you do it too quickly. Personally, I like this. Sometimes I add thyme or rosemary, but that's it. So I get our roasting pan, and you'll notice I have a tray in here. I put the tray in there to keep the skin off the bottom, otherwise it'll be cooking in the fat itself, and I want the air to get around it. It helps dry it out a little bit. So, this is the breast. We're gonna put the breast side down, leg side up. This way you won't overcook the breast as well. And that's it. Now it's gonna go into the oven. Preheated oven, 425 degrees. Middle rack. Close it up and come back in about an hour. So now it's been an hour, let's see how our duck is doing. Perfect, you can see we're getting nice crispy skin. Let's give it a flip. Press up, time for that to get crispy. And we'll check it again in about half an hour. All right, so it's been an hour and a half. We're gonna check the bird. It's looking good. We need to check some temperatures. Looking for 155 to 165. And there's a couple of areas that still need a bit of time. So we're just gonna give it a quick little baste. Add some juice to it. And you can keep it at the same temperature. We do it, we could turn it down if you want. Go low and slow, but I think that just will dry out the breast. So we'll check again in about another 15, 20 minutes. All right, so I think our bird is ready now. We can turn the oven off and take it out. You can see it's nicely browned. 
Skin looks nice and crispy. Look at all that great duck fat. It's all been rendered out. Save that, it's amazing with roast potatoes. Great. Now what I'm gonna do is strain off some of the bits. Great. And we'll put this thing back on the oven and the stovetop. And just we just want to get a little bit of those crispy bits up. So I'm not doing a gravy, I'm just adding a little bit of wine. Deglaze the pan. See all those bits starting to come up now. So all this time the duck is just resting. Juices are all going back into the breast. Just let that reduce a little bit. You can see that color. It's all stuff that you would have thrown in the sink and washed away. So you can see here what we've done as well. This is all your fat that came out of the bird. Not much really. We're going to close that off and keep it in the fridge. And that'll be good for, I don't know, maybe a month. It doesn't usually last that long in my house to cook potatoes. All right. So that's pretty well ready to go. So just turn that down a little bit. All right, so now we're just going to finish off our jus with a little bit of thyme that I'm just crumbling in, just for a little bit of flavor. And we'll just pour this in. Nice. And there you have it. All right, so it's time to carve up our bird. Let's take a look. You've got your wings here, so let's take one of those off. Use your hands as well. Makes life easier. Beautiful. Now we're going to take our leg off. You remember that's where we trimmed it before? Just went down a little bit. Now we're going to cut here. You can see how nicely that cuts away. And there's your leg. Now let's take off one of the breasts. Just slice down the middle. Just take it away from the bone, the breast bone there. You can see it comes away quite nicely, quite easily. There is your breast. Now let's carve it up. You can see it's juicy. And all that fat that was underneath there is all gone. You're left with a lean meat and a little crispy bit of skin. Look at the juice that's coming out on the table. Man, that looks delicious. And there you go. Nice and easy. That's all it is to it. It's just like doing a roast chicken. 
Try it at home, it's amazing. Everybody's gonna love it.